people. Do you ever get mad? Mike, do you ever get mad? Oh, I'm mad right now. Oh, you're mad right now? Oh, perfect. Because <laughs> we about to oh, turn that, that up to, we're about to turn that up to 11 because we're on <laughs> I don't remember that. Also known as mildly infuriating. Was that like that last time? I the, think the, so. The... I don't remember. The subreddit logo is slightly off to the side. You know, oh, they did everything oh, they could. Crap, yeah, this man, is I... low quality as well. Now they did everything they it, could. Now that you pointed it out, man. Uh. They did everything they could to make it mildly infuriating. Yo, me and Mike did this like last year and boy, did you guys like it. Boy, did you guys beat that like button. Yeah. And now we're back. Robert IDK and Bijou Mike. Yeah. All right. Temporary rule. No posts about Johnny Banana Bird. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, that has been mildly infuriating. It's all anyone cared about. It's true. Like, I don't I don't care what anyone says. It's just hard not to be interested a little bit. I know. All right. This phone camera. Most cameras on this phone are fake dummies. Wait a minute. Okay. So we got a phone with the four cameras. Yep. Are they going to take that off and like only... Let's see here. What? Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's as stylish now to have a million cameras on your phone. Like, oh, more cameras is better. What's the What's the most that they have right now? I don't know. Do they go more than four? I mean, mine has three. I have three on mine, but I don't have it the new one. It is kind of banana. Oh my gosh, look at this. What is that? What is that? What is that? What phone is, is it, that? It's a Nokia. Now, how many of these do you think are real? Or are they all real? Our phones are just going to become spider faces. <laughs> Soon. Yeah, I think, what is that, that phobia with like a bunch of holes? Oh, tryptop, yeah, we're gonna have yeah. trip, wait, is it tryptophobia? Yeah, it is tryptophobia. Something like that, I don't know the, the, how to say We're it. gonna have the tryptophobia pretty soon, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, fear cameras. Petrol prices in London right now. Guys, petrol is gas. I don't know why they call yeah. it petrol. That's $11.27 per gallon for you US guys. Wow, eleven twenty-seven. Oh my how God. How do you feel about that, Mike? Well, what's one ninety-seven mean? I, I'm trying to understand and the prices in pounds London they use per pounds? Le wait what no that isn't pound is that pence per liter? <laughs> Something like that? That's what I'm saying. I don't, like, how do you even read that? Like, what, what's I exactly... I don't know. That must be I, what's infuriating. Well, no, the price itself is infuriating. That's the equivalent of $11 per gallon. Oh, yeah, okay, so, yeah. Well, I think everyone's infuriated right now. <laughs> but, dude, people complain out here about, like, $4 per gallon. They're like, oh, my gosh, this is the craziest I've ever seen. What the heck is this? Yeah, that's that's pretty... That's bad. That, it's gotta be, like, really popular place. It's gotta be. There's no way it's like that everywhere. Yeah, well, it costs more money to drive in London. Like, you need to pay extra to drive in London. It's a it's a thing. It's weird. Because they don't want a million cars on the street. They don't want it to be like LA. You know what's infuriating to me is the fact that, at least in America, you basically, in, unless you're in New York, you have to have a car, is what I'm trying to say. And that's what's infuriating right. to me. Annoying. Right, it's no option. Yo, check this out. Expecto Petroleum! <laughs> <laughs> Classic picture. Is there really a person who looks like like this just naturally you know like just everyday it's, life that yeah this is how they go about their life that's crazy i love that picture <laughs> this answer is correct so this is in an animu it was 12 it, yeah two plus two times five equals 12 they got it wrong no it's right it's, that's <laughs> two plus ten is 12 that's yeah. weird fire the teacher in japan do they use our same numeric <laughs> system it's, the problem is they're not using japanese numbers see that's the problem is japanese is, is that a thing though? <laughs> I mean, there's kanji for numbers, but that's not. Yeah, no, it's the same. Everyone does math the same. No, 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 no. I, I know, I know, I know. But in Japan, do they use numbers that look like this or no? I'm pretty sure they do. I think it's the same. Why would they change math? Oh, math is math. Okay, math Dad. is math. Pretty sure they do. Yeah. I haven't done math in Ichi Japan. Ni san go. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm no fan of the royals, but I can't help but feel bad for the kids who can't even have normal kid tantrums in public without the media dissecting it. Lip Reader reveals what Kate Middleton said to Prince Louis during his viral meltdown. That's just creepy. Like, just weird. That is really creepy. What kind <laughs> of what kind of telescopic <laughs> lens do you need to lip read a parent quietly scolding their child from yeah. a thousand yards away? That is crazy. And you know what's probably mildly infuriating for the for the for the Brits out there that I I called him Prince Louis, not Prince Louis. Is it, I'm sorry. The same thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this says Louis. To me, I don't know how not. Listen, blame Shia LaBeouf 
Your boy was watching Even Stevens, Louis Stevens, you know what I'm saying? As a kid. Uh, it just don't make no sense. Louis, it's, it, there's an S. <laughs> there's an S hey, and hey. you say the S. Telling them it don't make sense is not going to make them less infuriated, okay? <laughs> yeah, they're mildly infuriated at you now. I'm mildly infuriated at whoever invented that name, okay? Player got kicked from a professional esports team because his mom was in the final stages of her cancer. What? Wow. Kicked because my mom was on her last days and they assumed it would affect my performance. I already knew for some time that this day will come since she yeah. had stage four cancer. She passed away on Monday. Imagine being fired from a job because you were about to lose a loved one. Yeah, I saw wow. this. I saw this on um, Penguin Zero, Charlie. What a horrible idea for people who are in the entertainment social media industry. Who on earth would think that this is the play? I guarantee that whole team lost so many supporters after yeah, this. I don't, that's what I don't get either. Like you would think there has to be more to the story because like, yeah, it's just so bad that it's like, there's no way that they would have done that. That is like the worst press you can possibly have. Yeah. Like, can you possibly make your team look worse than that? And listen, people who play video games all day, they're already used to shutting out their moms. <laughs> you know? How do you think they got there? Their moms were yelling, Jeremy, come down for dinner! They're used to tuning out their mothers. I think he could have... <laughs> That's it's a bit of a dark joke. But I, 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 I was like trying to... <laughs> I was trying to think. I was like, hmm. I don't know about this one. I I'm leaving it in. I don't care. <laughs> Listen, all respect to Michael Ninja Boogie, okay? Respect to the lad. I hope you're doing well. I guarantee you got scooped up by a team with, with a soul. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Awful. Hotel owner who threatened to keep my deposit because I left a bad review threatened me with the police. What? The, okay, what the heck is going on here? If you're sending each other minion emojis, I don't know. Snowflake, what can offend us today? Remove your Reddit post or everything will be turned into the police, including your registration in Info. Okay, deep? what led to you sending a minion, a deep fried minion photo? They're this like is a pretty, pretty weird relationship you have with your hotel owner regardless. Why do you have their texting number as well? Uh, I don't, it's probably just a number. I don't know. Maybe it's like a public thing that's at the hotel or something. I don't know. Weirdos. I have explanations Weirdos. for everything, apparently. Listen, snowflakes getting offended by stuff, that's annoying. Yeah, those but, are kind of boomer memes, huh? A little bit. But boomer memes like... Like yeah. this, who 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 do who do this kind of meme? That's just as lame as the person getting offended. It's true. Retire the minion memes. Retire. Oh yeah, the minion. Yeah, these are a couple of boomers over here. <laughs> I'm a teacher. My student told me her grandma died. Hi there. Just wanted to reach out and send my condolences as whoever mentioned her grandmother passed away yesterday. Sending love. No, she did not. Both of her grandmothers are living in healthy. No. Oh. Ooh. You lied! You lied! Well, so, somebody's getting in trouble. Huh? Yeah, she she said that grandma died. In reality, she was out by the bushes smoking that dope. <laughs> you know? Have you you've never have you ever used like have you ever called into work and used a dumb excuse? Like I've never went that far. I don't think I, she ever go that far. There was one time in university I didn't do quite this. In university, I moved out of my residence building, and you're supposed to turn in your keys to get a yeah one hundred fifty dollar deposit back or whatever, and you have like twenty four hours to do this. I actually accidentally didn't. So I was going to have to pay $150. So I was like, hey, I'm so sorry. I forgot. I had a family emergency. I had to get picked up and I didn't think about it. And they were like, hmm, in the past, we've uh, we've offered uh, whatever for people who have given us a certificate of death. It's like, oh. are you kidding me? <laughs> they followed through with it. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> you want me to, if I had a family member who died, you're like, okay, here's the papers, boss. Oh, God. Is, you, you, can, you can give me my money. But, like, like really, if someone's like, if someone's family member actually died, I'm not gonna make them show me proof to get yeah, the, the deposit back. That might, and that, now this university is still emailing me to this day, like, hey, we love when our alumni give us money. No, not after that little stunt. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it's smart and kind of messed up, dude. Universities just love taking your money however oh, they, they can. They will. They just love it. They will take it very easily. Yo, check out this ten dollar salad. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, this is a Six Flags salad. This I got a meal card for Six Flags, and it's like, you can go in and get a piece of food every day. And the turkey, I wish I could find a picture of the Six Flag turkey sandwich, but it should have been like 20 cents, and it was like the equivalent of $10. This that, this looks like a Six Flags meal. That is disgraceful. That is the disgraceful. It's Walnut salad! Disgraceful. It's a 
<laughs> Calling it lettuce, like this is like expired lettuce. Oh, this is like the bottom of the subway it. lettuce. You know no. what I'm saying? Yeah. No, this I is like it. Burger King foot lettuce. You work at Subway and you scraped across the borders of every tray, you know? Like this is when you are cleaning out the trays and you just put it all on a plate. Yeah. yeah. Ten dollars. That is infuriating. Just prices like that, especially like conventions. Uh, it's oh, like overcharge for food. It's no, Mike. It's vintage lettuce. It's <laughs> it's retro. Oh, it makes sense. <laughs> it's previous. It's refurbished. Oh, I you love know what I'm saying. Aged, fine aged lettuce. Wealthy people raise sixty thousand dollars to stop homeless shelter from being built. What? 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 No. Again, it's just I, like, it's gotta be more to it. Like, there's gotta be more to this. I mean, yeah, if there's like a school playground where all my kids are, and it's like, let's build a homeless shelter right next to it. And then they can come up to my little Johnny with a piece of broken glass. Yeah. Uh, I don't want that. Yeah, exactly. I don't want that. that that's what's wrong with the internet today is that like, they'll read a headline like this. And of course they make it sound so bad, but you need to look into it. Like what, why? And then yeah, when you figure that out. Yeah, the context? Received this mail from a concerned neighbor. Congratulations, you mowed. That's <laughs> twice so far this year, I believe. Can you keep it up? Maybe weekly or at least every other week? Your neighbors would be very grateful if your house did not look like it was abandoned. All right, that's kind of funny. That is some very, uh, it would be, I mean, you had so much space. You could have made this like size 72 font if you really wanted to, but yeah, they <laughs> you should put up a no mow me, no mow me sign. No mow me. Get a couple of sheep. No need to ever mow again. Where's the context in the comments? Anyways, um. I don't know. I've seen. I've heard some I horror am, stories. Oh yeah, HOAs are the worst. I yeah, I've dealt with with one where I live right now. But I'm on both sides here because I lived in a house where I didn't own a lawnmower and I let my <laughs> lawn get really bad and that's not good. I know that's not good, but, but I, I did, did it. it. And so hey, I'm on both sides. The passive aggression is kind of funny. Yeah. You know, they didn't <laughs> curse them out. They didn't do like anything too inappropriate. They just kind of dunked on them kind of hard. <laughs> it's like this is a pretty small retaliation for like having an abandoned looking house next to you the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, I mean, it sucks like to have like this this neighbor full of nice houses and there's just this one that's just like crazy. You know? Yeah, it I'm on both sides. Yeah, it, it's because yeah, it, you never know. You never know. Someone on Reddit could have also just posted this is my neighbor. They wow. live here, blah, blah, blah. And they post a picture of the house with the like 10 foot tall weeds. <laughs> it's like that would be just as upvoted on this subreddit. You know what yeah, I mean? Gotta need like a machete for the grass. Exactly. So who started it, huh? The person trying to get wild Pokemon to show up in their yard. Yeah. That's who. <laughs> I found this in my bag of Cheetos. Oh I have my. no clue what it is. That's not yeah. infuriating. That's it's like the golden <laughs> ticket. Yeah, that is like basically the golden ticket of hot Cheetos. You have a ticket to Mr. Beast Cheeto Mansion. <laughs> yeah, Chester the Cheetah invited you personally. Yes, I bet if you put a microscope on this, you'll get the Da Vinci code. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Look at this. This is like an esoteric text. That, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I would... What, are you, what is like a bag of chips, like a dollar or something, right? Uh, yeah. I, I, I would be happy to receive that. Bruh. Ian, look at, look at what car this person's driving. Get another bag, you rich you <laughs> rich driving person. a Lambo or something. Yeah. Like, I can't believe this is what this is what they feed to our children. That's inferior. I think the post is infuriating just for being mad. There's a lot of ways to look at this. This is definitely a, a golden ticket if I've ever seen one. We have a politician over here. The median annual pay during the Great Depression was 22% of the cost of an average home. Today's it is 14%. That means that pay relative to home cost made it easier to buy a home during the Great Depression than right now. This is absurd. Hmm. That is sad. I gotta think about that because I'm not smart. That does sound about right, honestly. Same thing with like, we were literally just talking about university and college tuitions. It's like like now it's like a huge financial commitment to go to school. But I remember my dad saying, oh yeah, like I didn't need high scores and stuff. Like I could, you could just, it's either you just go or you don't. I believe this. I mean, houses, like depending on where you are, like you can get a pretty like modest home for like a million and a half dollars now. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I mean, it really, it really depends on where you live. I mean, now that I'm in Texas, like, it's crazy uh, how much how much more um, of a house more you, can land buy. you can get. Yeah, like a million dollars in LA is like you could buy a shack, but a million dollars here you could buy a little yeah. mansion. Like, <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> yeah, dude, you. this is literally my current crisis. It's like I am looking at places out here in LA and it's like, why do I need to be here? I mean, I do something LA related like twice a year. I don't need to, to spend nine grand a month on rent yeah, for a place no. that would be like 2,000 a month out there, you yeah, know? Yeah, I, if, if I were you, I would just move. It's really not worth it. Like, you, you can do all the same stuff. It, you can fly somewhere the if you beach, really need to. But the beach, Mike! The beach! <laughs> Screw the beach! Want, the beach doesn't care! I want the beach, but I don't <laughs> want Florida. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, there's gotta be another beach that's less expensive. There's somewhere. gotta be another way. I can go to Long Beach. It's just I just have to recover from stab wounds every day. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, my landlord entered my apartment without notice to tell me to clean my lint trap. What? What? That sounds Yo, that's you can't do stuff. that. You can't do that. Could you please clean the dryer? Too much hair from your dog. Whoa. Yeah, that's a, that's invasive. We're not cleaning the balcony until we move out balcony okay uh until we move out june 30th unless you pay us back june rent then we'll clean the balcony for june 1st and you should not enter the property because you didn't ask us we're still your tenants and it's illegal <laughs> don't please argue. don't argue <laughs> oh hey, just don't argue that uh, that's in that's the end of right it. now that you put it that way oh you're right you're right oh so sorry yeah please continue your illegal oh, yeah. activities yeah. no no <laughs> you can't do that landlords cannot enter the building no matter how much dog hair you got going on unless you yeah. write a dog hair clause in your lease agreement you can't do that and what a condescend it well first of all i do clean out my lint thing every single time i do laundry same, like fam same. that's sad is it not satisfying to pull out like a giant wad of lint and oh, put it in the yeah. trash of course and be like wow this was dirt that was in my home and now it's not like that i like that i agree that yeah they should clean out their lint but this is the weirdest thing to can you imagine someone sending like how how disturbing. How, like, violating does that feel, getting a picture like this? His next message is going into, the, like, their underwear drawer. He pulls it out. It's like, you really exactly. need to clean You should these. really toss these. <laughs> you really need to clean these. Yeah, <laughs> we got a couple skid marks over here. Um, Anthony, I think we need to, I think we need to handle this. I'm colorblind. My friend sent me this, and I assumed it was a normal test, so I asked my nine-year-old cousin what it said, to which she got upset at me for. Aww. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> There's no way. I, I don't believe this. It's just a troll. Ask your nine-year-old cousin what it said. <laughs> Uh, do you believe this? I don't know. I don't know if I do. Unless you can't see it, then it actually does work. <laughs> this does look like a pretty convincing test, honestly. Yeah, I feel like does. a colorblind person would definitely struggle with this one. Either way, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know what? I'm going to say, uh, I, let's put this in black and white so I can keep it in the video, you know? Because <laughs> uh, okay. I'm not keeping that on screen otherwise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can, guys, you can use your imagination. Yeah, you gotta Let's just that, say your nine-year-old cousin, your nine-year-old cousin would get mad is all I'm saying. Just had mosaic tile floor installed. Okay, how many messed up floor tiles have I seen on my channel? 20 million. Uh, okay, what's what's the matter? Is something just like not, I mean, I guess this is not the same, is it? I oh. guess this is like identical Wait. and then it gets all wacky oh, over here. Oh, yeah, when you see it, you can't stop staring at it. It's kind of cool. I mean, I don't, maybe just because it's not my tile. Maybe if I had these tiles, I'd be mad. Listen, dude, I've just done so many episodes of you had one job where people have like gotten one floor tile wrong and it's like, I'm impervious at this point. I'm impervious. Yeah, it's... Yeah, that's... I don't know. You kind of have to stare kind of hard to see it. It's weird. Well, also, I'm trying to understand if it makes sense or not. But my ADD brain, I just look at this and I just think, oh, I'm jumping from this platform to this platform. <laughs> yeah. and then that's where my brain is. So that's all I'm concerned about. I can visualize. So I get a little bit of extra enjoyment. Yeah, do you ever like make pictures out of the wall? If I'm wait... Exactly, exactly. If I'm waiting in the dentist office as an ADD eight-year-old, I am staring at this and imagining a little character jumping along here. And yeah. you know what? That's my entertainment. <laughs> for totally. the next 30 minutes. Android game. You can watch a 30 seconds ad and revive. Me, no thanks. Android game. Plays a 30 seconds unskippable ad anyways and gives me nothing in return. This is, yeah, I literally just played like a ripoff game the other day of uh, Poppy Playtime and they did exactly this. Oh, exactly was it a that. mobile game? Or yeah, in, yeah like... it was a mobile ripoff of, oh, of the game man. and it was like, looks so dumb. And the most infuriating part about that game 
is that in order to progress in the game, you have to collect these like toys that are just, hit, you know, on the floor. And every yeah. time you collected one, you, ha you uh, get an ad every time. You're rewarded for your progress with an ad. Yeah, that is, is like the most <laughs> counterproductive dopamine release structure I have ever seen. <laughs> There's like, like 30 let's ads. Let's punish man. you for progress. You know what that's like? Suffering from success. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be me sitting in my car having lunch. Watched a woman hit the pole. Called police on me. Claimed I moved the pole to cause her to get into the accident. Had to stay for an hour while the incident was investigated. Yeah. Wow. Okay. We call that scum. And uh, uh, I, I ain't trying to stereotype. I ain't trying to stereotype. But is that not the most American Caucasian woman behavior that I've ever she's, seen? She's driving a Ford F-150. You know, you know this. Like, you don't or need actually, the don't New York is, license but... plate or the American flag in the photo to know where this took place. And I'm disappointed. What about her story? She He moved the concrete pole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I parked next to a very petty alchemist, okay? <laughs> and they can do things like this and it's it's because I got a Ford. They don't like Ford They're into that alchemy. So they drive a Toyota. You know what I'm saying? And they they shapeshift they, They're an airbender. They're also yeah, a stone it, bender. What if it's true? And you just no one's gonna believe it to be, Yeah, to be fair. That could be true. You just like use your mind powers move the pole. Yeah, no one will ever believe you yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know? I swear. When someone steals your homework and gets a better grade, some guy really ripped off my photo, won a 1,500 euro prize exhibited in a biennale supported by the Luxembourg government, then tried to mans mansplain <laughs> copyright infringement to me. Where can I find a Luxembourgish speaker to help? Unbelievable. Wow. Reading that whole uh, tweet was kind of rough, but uh, yeah, wow. Someone awful. ripped off your thing and won a thousand euros. Oh, and if you want, you can preslos it the tweet if, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> what I, language? Does, <laughs> does that make these words easier to understand? Yeah, that's uh, disgusting. <laughs> and uh, you know what? I think karma's gonna get this person. You know, I think karma's yeah, gonna get him. They will. Yeah, they, I know people that do this with like fan arts and stuff. It's like awful. True. I mean, that's not. It's like not like they're winning a prize, but yeah, it's just like how could you? The like, community will come for them, and uh, the results will be dastardly. In the art community, ripping off is bad. That's why Carlos Mencia, you ain't seen him. Oh. Are you aware of Carlos Mencia? Yeah, I know all about that. The Joe yeah, Rogan thing. Yeah, 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 I know. Let's let's throw a little bit of this on. Yeah, I, after looking into it, you know, it's pretty uh, it's pretty crazy. I'm somebody important enough that he had to end the show by saying Carlos Mencia. If someone steals a riff from a song that's in the news constantly, steal and make it on HBO, it steal and put it on television. What are you saying? Okay, okay, okay. So here's some context. 15 years ago, Carlos Mencia was one of the most popular comics in the world. But what people didn't realize is not everyone had cameras. He was stealing jokes from, from other comedians, like comedians who weren't making a lot of money. Carlos Mencia was making millions by telling other people's jokes. So Joe Rogan went on stage and called him out in front of the whole audience. And as a result, over time, Carlos Mencia got, I mean, I guess canceled for it. At the time, Joe got an abundance of trouble though for doing it but it takes some cojones honestly honestly yeah i think he ended up he owned up to it eventually didn't he uh, i think so yeah i think he did which is good but yeah no that's crazy but yeah in the art and entertainment world like you can't get away with copying stuff it ain't gonna work you know what i'm saying that's yeah, why when you see people when if you see ain't nobody dare to try and rip off robert idk you know what i'm saying because <laughs> <laughs> it's like yo if it's done perfectly the first time you ain't gonna get away with it you know what i'm saying how not to sell a car okay how many miles on this car too many uh 170 000. how long have you owned it any particular reason for selling it are you interested in buying it <laughs> or knowing my life story bro are you kidding me it's a 25 year old car those are reasonable questions i'd expect most people to ask when interested in buying a car like this do you want to know my whole life story okay yeah it's been crashed seven times it's gonna <laughs> break down any minute now wow are you trying to buy it or what? You also want my shirt? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's such a reasonable question. It, it really is. Like they, they definitely overreacted. Like that's that's a lot of miles. I mean, what kind of car are we talking about here? Yeah, exactly. Well, I yeah, I did buy a Toyota Corolla with like I don't know if it was miles or kilometers actually. Now that I think about it, but it was like a ton, like four hundred thousand, and it's because it was an Uber what? driver. I know, that... I know, I know. 
but it's gonna roll over. <laughs> no, but it's a Toyota Corolla, so it lasts forever. So it never broke. You down know what then. I'm saying? Toyotas do be like that, fam. Yeah, I got a Toyota. Oh, we got a video. Kid pressed the reset button right before the score is ready. Got mugged by a Fortnite kid who got a score of one. Okay, there's a lot of context to try and understand before this video starts. Let's go. All right, a punching machine. Boom. All right. No kid. No kid. I no. want to see. No. Uh. And then gets a score of one. A <laughs> Fortnite kid. Look at this. Look at this. Kids have no situational awareness. Yeah. Go floss your fl floss your way out of here. You scum. You can't oh, do God. that. Who is this? I would. Oh my gosh. There are a lot of things. There, <laughs> I would. They really did. Steal, like he knew. He went in there knowing exactly what they were doing. Like they just stole. Yeah, uh, they just stole his. If I was his kid's father, I would pick it up and throw it across the room into a pit of foam. Don't worry, uh, parents. We're we're good. But oh my gosh, that is infuriating. That this is infuriating. guy. This guy. He's wearing some ball mains. You know what I'm saying? He's not used to getting ripped off like this. Well, actually, no. He is used to getting ripped off. He buys designer clothing, but uh, <laughs> scum. Unbelievable. This, this is the biggest bra moment we're going to have. This guy's like, what? What are you talking about? I don't, I'm just, it was hype. It was a hype moment. I had to, tied to cash in. You know what I'm saying? Entitled kids. Disgusting. They'll never punch like that again. Despicable. People, if you haven't seen it, this is a video that we did on Mike's channel like last year. If you haven't seen it, it is a grand old time and you got to catch up. You know what was I'm saying? Was it last year? Was it really? It was, it was definitely 2020. I don't think it was a full year ago. Oh, here's Mike's channel, or here's the last episode of this mildly infuriating we did with Mike on this channel. Pick your poison, people. Pick your magic, rather. I love y'all. I hope you have a great day. Peace! Bye!